Welcome to Alpha Numeric Tricks. In this video, we are going to see the topic problems and a solution of first order nonlinear partial differential equations. Now, in last video, we have seen that how to get the solution of first type of problems that is f of p comma q is equal to zero type problems under this topic. The link is available in the description box. If you want, please have a look on it. Now, we are going to see how to get the solution of type 2 problems that is clear its form of type problems. Is it is equal to px plus qy plus f of p comma q. In this video, we are going to see how to get the solution of z is equal to px plus qy plus root of 1 plus p square plus q square. Now let us start the solution. Solve z is equal to px plus qy plus root of 1 plus p square plus q square. In Claret, this is the equation 1. In Claret's form only, all the 5 variables are present in your standard type of problems. Okay, That is x, y, p and q, z are present in your equation. And the, in, this, in this form, that is the px is, is separately there, plus x term is q, y is separately there, plus another term is pq terms along and separately there, which is equated to z. So, this is the problem. This, you, you are using this, you can identify this problem comes under this type 2, that is clear its form. Now, we are going to get the solution. Uh, first, we have to start with the complete integral or complete solution. Uh, before going to start with this complete solution, you have to write the given problem as of which type. So, this is Claret's form. So, you have to mention it in your solution. So, this is of the form Claret's form is it is equal to px plus qy plus f of p comma q. Now, how will you get the uh, complete integral for Claret's form? What is the procedure? That is, it is very, very easy. Just you have to replace a p by a and a q by b in the given problem, then the, um, then you can get the complete integral. So substituting is it is equal to p is replaced by a. So a a into this x plus a q is replaced by b. So b into this y plus root of one plus a a square plus b square. That is p and q are replaced by a and b. So here you have a two arbitrary constants and two independent variables. That's why it is a complete integral for the Claret's form of uh, Claret's form type problems. Okay. Now, the, now you have to find out the uh, singular integral for this type of problem. And here in complete integral, a and b are arbitrary constants. Okay. How will you get the singular integral then? That is, you have to differentiate the complete integral with respect to the available arbitrary constants and using the rule uh, do z by do a is equal to 0 and do z by do b is equal to 0. This rule also obtained by differentiating z partially with respect to the available arbitrary constants in the complete integral and that value is equated to 0. So, using this rule and the differentiated term, we, we try to eliminate the arbitrary constants and Claret's type of problem always singular integral exists and the calculation is a little bit lengthy one you should remember this always singular integral of Claret's form of um, Claret's form type of problem singular integral is exist okay now, you have to differentiate the complete integral 2 partially with respect to the arbitrary constant a. Then you have dou z by, that is z is differentiated with respect to a. You have dou z by dou a, that value is equated to 0, is equal to differentiation of ax with respect to a is x. Because x is constant and the differentiation of a with respect to a is 1. Plus, differentiation of by with respect to a is 0 because it is constant plus what is the differentiation of root x 1 by 2 root x so this is substituted that is this formula is applied here also so differentiation of root of 1 plus a square plus b square is 1 divided by 2 into root of 1 plus a square plus b square into differenti differentiation of 1 plus a square plus b square uh, with respect to a and is written in the numerator so what is differentiation of a 1 with respect to a it becomes 0 plus differentiation of a square with respect to a is 2a 
plus differentiation of b squared with respect to a is 0 because b is constant. So, 0 plus 2a plus 0 you have a 2a. Okay. Now, this 2 to get cancelled and remaining term here is 0 is equal to x plus a divided by root of 1 plus a squared plus b squared and you have to take this a by root of 1 plus a squared plus b squared to right hand side it becomes minus a by root of 1 plus a squared plus b squared which is the value of x here okay now by that equation is 3 now you have to differentiate the same complete integral partially with respect to another arbitrary constant b then you get the value that is rho z by dou b that is equated to 0 using this rule is equal to differentiation of ax with respect to b becomes 0 plus uh, y into differentiation of b with respect to b is 1 so you have y alone is present plus differentiation of root of 1 plus a squared plus b squared is 1 divided by 2 into root of 1 plus a squared plus b squared into differentiation of 1 plus a squared plus b squared with respect to b is 2b that is written in the numerator that is differentiation of 1 with respect to b becomes 0 plus a squared with respect to b becomes 0 because it is constant plus b squared with respect to b is 2b so 0 plus 0 plus 2b you have 2b that is in the numerator okay here also 2 to get cancelled and left to term is y plus b divided by root of 1 plus a squared plus b squared which is equated to 0. From this you have to take b by root of 1 plus a squared plus b squared to your right hand side it becomes minus b by root of 1 plus a squared plus b squared which is the value of y. Now by the equation is 4. Now we have to eliminate the arbitrary constants available here but here in our problem it is um, the available uh, uh, constant is a little bit the complicated term is there that is root of 1 plus a squared plus b squared you have to uh, eliminate this term for that we need for the simplification also now we will do how to get the uh, we will see sorry we will see how to get the um, singular integral for this type uh, this problem okay now for that you have to squaring and adding equation 3 and 4 that is equation 3 is x by minus a by root of 1 plus a square plus b square and 4 is y is equal to minus b by root of 1 plus a square plus b square so you have to square and add when you squaring the uh, squaring and adding the left hand side terms you have x square plus y square which is equal to minus a the whole square is a square divided by uh, root of 1 plus a square plus b square the whole square is 1 plus a square plus b square because square root or and square square and square root get cancelled so we get 1 plus a square plus b square alone plus minus b the whole equation for you have to square it minus b the whole square is b square divided by uh, root uh, square root of 1 plus a square plus b square the whole square is 1 plus a square plus b square look at the denominator which is same so which uh, 1 plus a square plus b square is the lcm so which is equal to and uh, 1 lcm is 1 plus a square plus b square and numerator you have to add the terms directly so a square plus b square divided by 1 plus a square plus b square which is the value of x square plus y square but we need to find out the value of um, that is uh, we need to find out the uh, value of 1 plus a square plus b square and you have to eliminate it for that we need to simply that is we need further simplification also so one is subtracted from this terms okay so subtract one with this terms you have one minus of x square plus y square is equal to one minus of this term a square plus b square by one plus a square plus b square now minus is taken inside so one minus x square minus y square is equal to you have to take the lcm for this one into one plus a square plus b square is one plus a square plus b square and minus is taken inside this term so minus a square minus b square divided by this 1 plus a square plus b square here plus a square minus a square get cancelled plus b square minus b square get cancelled so left out term is 1 by 1 plus a square plus b square which is the value of 1 minus x square minus y square or from this you can write this term that is your take 1 plus a square plus b square to your left hand side and 1 minus x square minus y square to the uh, 
square to the uh, right uh, right hand side denominator because we need to calculate the value of 1 plus a square plus b square so which is equal to 1 by 1 minus x square minus y square but you we have to find out the value of uh, root square root of 1 plus a square plus b square so, so take square root on both sides you have square root of 1 plus a square plus b square is equal to 1 divided by square root of 1 minus x square minus y square and this is substituted in equation 3 and 4 and uh, you can get the values of a and b that is if this one root of 1 plus a square uh, plus b square is eliminated and uh, a and b alone left out in your equation after substituting this term and you can easily find out the values of a and b and this is substituted in complete integral to get the singular integral okay now we will do it substituting this equation in 3 and 4 then you have x is equal to minus a into 1 divided by root of 1 plus a square plus b square is replaced by uh, root of 1 minus x square minus y square that is you take it in the volta way yeah, here you take this root of 1 minus x square minus y square and here the numerator of um, left hand side and take this term to your right hand side then you can get the value of 1 by root of 1 plus a square plus b square that is root of 1 minus x square minus y square okay Similarly, y is equal to minus b into 1 by root of 1 plus a square plus b square is replaced by square root of 1 minus x square minus y square. From that, you can easily find out the values of a and b. So, a is equal to minus x divided by root of 1 minus x square minus y square because your x uh, root of 1 minus x square minus uh, y square term is taken to the uh, left hand side denominator. Similarly, b value is equal to minus y divided by root of 1 minus x square minus y square. So, we can get the value, sometimes we, we, we get the value of a and b, then you have to substitute these value in your complete integral 2, okay. That is your complete integral is z is equal to ax plus by plus root of 1 plus a square plus b square. Sub, all values are known to us, a value, b value and this square root value, all are known to us. Now, we have to substitute the values here. So, z is equal to uh, a value here is minus x divided by root of 1 minus x square minus y square into this x. So, minus x into minus x, sorry, minus x into this x, you have minus x square divided by root of 1 minus x square minus y square plus b value is minus y by root of 1 minus x square minus y square into this y. So, minus y into y it becomes minus uh, y square divided by this root of 1 minus x square minus y square plus this root of 1 plus a square plus b square value is replaced by uh, 1 by root of 1 minus x square minus y square and look at the denominator both are the uh, same so the lcm is um, the root of 1 minus x square minus y square write it in the denominator and numerator you have to add all the terms that is for one is positive the positive term so you have 1 minus x square minus y square and here, here you can simplify again also again further that is simplified further uh, how will you write uh, x x is can be written as root x into root x similarly you write 1 minus x square minus y square to root of 1 minus x square minus y square into root of 1 minus x square minus y square that is 1 root root get cancelled so remaining term you have as z is equal to root of 1 minus x square minus y square alone again you have to squaring on both sides then z square is equal to 1 minus x square minus y square or otherwise you take this minus x square minus y square to this side and then it becomes plus x squared plus y squared and plus z squared which is the value of the is equal to 1 that is which is equal to 1 that is x squared plus y squared plus z squared equal to 1 which is the required singular integral because it is free from arbitrary constants okay and envelope of uh, this singular integral is the family of the circle okay do you know that this is the envelope of family of circles we saw in the uh, definition so this is the envelope which is the circle with center at the origin and radius is equal to one unit this is the envelope okay in envelope of the family of circles we obtained for this type of problem and now uh, we have to find out the uh, general integral well, how will you find out the general integral that is, uh, this is also obtained from the 
complete integral uh, but in complete integral uh, two arbitrary constants are reduced to single arbitrary constants by making use of the substitution one constant should be a function of another one that is we have to use the substitution b is equal to phi of a or a is equal to phi of b in your complete integral your complete integral is z is equal to ax plus by plus root of 1 plus a square plus b square there you have to substitute b is equal to phi of a then it becomes z is equal to ax plus uh, b is replaced by phi of a into y plus uh, root of 1 plus a square plus b is replaced by phi of a the whole square now for the equation is phi now you have to differentiate this equation with respect to the single arbitrary constant a that is after substitution two arbitrary constant and the complete integral is reduced to a single arbitrary constant that is to be eliminated here okay now differentiation of z with respect to a becomes zero using this rule is equal to differentiation of ax with respect to a becomes x plus y is constant right as it is phi of a differentiation with respect to a is phi dash of a plus differentiation of root of 1 plus a squared plus phi of a the whole squared is 1 divided by 2 into root of 1 plus a squared plus phi of a the whole squared into differentiation of this term you have to write it in the uh, numerator so differentiation of 1 with respect to a is 0 plus differentiation of a squared with respect to a is 2a plus differentiation of phi of a the whole squared with respect to a is 2 into phi of a into phi of a differentiation with respect to a is phi dash of a so uh, this, this should be written in the uh, numerator and using 5 and 6 you try to eliminate the arbitrary constant then you can get the general integral here we can't uh, write the simplified solution that is we can't write the solution uh, without this a you just write this way because the function phi of a is not known to us that you should remember just conclude your result like this eliminating uh, a between 5 and 6 these two equations you can get the general integral that is the conclusion here that's it for today's video if you have any doubts on this please provide in the comment section thanks for your time and thanks for watching we will see in the next video with some more problems under this topic thank you